Hello, Draw Clubbers, and welcome to the very first Goo Genius Draw Club Daily Draw. We are going to be drawing different kinds of things every single day for about 15 to 20 minutes and having fun doing it, showing you the steps and how to lay out all sorts of different things. Everything from animals to background scenes to astronauts to things like monsters and fantasy animals and so on. My name is Wade Gugino and I draw cartoons for a living, and I have in West Michigan a little thing called Draw Club. And Draw Club is where a group of kids, usually roughly ages 7 to 16, get together and draw cartoons together, and we draw other things as well. So, what I want to do here online is sort of an extension of that, where we draw a little bit every day, because it's great to draw every single day just a little bit. It's great for your mind, it's great for your ability to be able to express things on the paper. Today we're going to draw a very simple dog, and all this week actually we're going to draw different kinds of dogs on different levels. So let's get started. We always start with very simple shapes when we draw. So I'm going to start laying down some simple shapes. If you grab a piece of paper, mine's a little bit thicker, but you can just grab normal copy paper. If you grab yourself a pencil, it doesn't have to be anything special. This pencil I think is maybe 10 cents. That's all we need, a little bit of an eraser on the end, and we're ready to go. So when I start to draw a simple dog, I'm going to start by drawing out very simple proportions and shapes. Almost anybody can draw a simple shape, and especially if it doesn't work, you can play around with that a little bit, a lot easier than you can a finished drawing. So let's start kind of over about two-thirds over here on the page, and we're going to draw a nice, simple circle. Okay? Now... This is going to get erased later, so make it nice and light. All right, and once we've got that circle about two-thirds over on the paper, we're going to come down and we're going to draw out what is sort of like a rectangle. It kind of comes out to a point and down, and then back up into where the face would be, and then kind of back up into where the circle is for the head. All right, and out the back side of this head, we're going to draw kind of the end of a little triangle like this, down to the edge of our circle. All right, up on top of the head, we're going to add two little triangles that are kind of curved forward, like this. So now we've got a great big circle, we've got a simple rectangle, a simple top of a triangle, and two other tops of triangles that curve off to the side. Out on the front, of the tip of this little muzzle area. This is the front of the face of our dog. Actually, it could be a dog going in the other direction with a little tiny snout now that we look at it. Um, we could have our nose and we're gonna draw a little oval like this. Now, as we get drawing our dog a little bit more involved, we can see that changing the size of different things makes a big difference in the way our dog looks. So if I wanted to take this nose and make it a whole lot bigger, I can do that, and it can change the way our dog would look overall. For right now, I'm going to leave my dog nose a little bit smaller and see how it looks. And I might change that after I get going a little bit more on the look of the dog. But now we have a general look for the head. And we have to connect that to a body. So we have to decide, are we going to make the whole body something that's smaller than the head, something that's bigger than the head, or about the same size? Well, in cartoons, a lot of dogs have a much smaller body than their head. So we're going to start by making the body just about the same size as the head. Even. And we're going to come down and draw a nice, almost rectangle. It kind of curves back a little bit like a trapezoid into the center. All right, so now we've got our circle, triangles, circle, rectangle, and a big rectangle here. We're going to add some very simple little triangle tips down off the side, one here, another one here, another one here, and off the front, another one over here. See what we've done? We've filled up this whole space using really simple shapes. We've uh, basically tried to make that whole space speak to whoever's seeing our drawing. We're going to come up the back side now and make a curved line, okay? And that curved line is going to have little curved triangle tips off the back of it. So now we've really filled up that whole space. 
and down on the bottom of the legs, we're going to add some paws, some feet. And again, because we're drawing a very simple dog, we're going to make some simple feet. We're going to come down and draw a little half circle here, and a little half circle here, and a little half circle here, and behind that, a little half circle here. You'll notice that the feet that go in behind, they kind of are covered by the feet in the front because the feet in the front are nearest to us and the other ones are sort of back in the background. Now, right now, we've laid out this whole space for our dog. And our dog is just a bunch of different shapes stuck together. So what I need to do now is I need to erase all the places where the body and the outside appendages kind of come together. Now, our body will actually cross over in front of the back leg here, and it'll actually cross over in front of the back, uh, back leg or the far side leg on the front. So what I want to do is get rid of all of the lines that kind of get in the way of us drawing our dog, but leave the lines like here that sort of delineate where the front and the back leg are. So I'm going to erase around and never, ever, ever be afraid to erase. Erasing is a really important part of drawing. You want to get things just right. Now up here, sometimes you're going to leave this little line right here in here, and sometimes you're going to get rid of it because this ear is off on the back side of the head. And then back here where the tail is, we're going to erase that as well. Down where the feet come into or the legs come into the feet, we're going to erase some little space down there and make it so those legs can taper in. Now, when we look at the overall shape of what we've got, check this out. We're starting to have something that looks more like a singular animal. Forgot to erase the inside of the nose. And now we can decide a little bit more of what kinds of features we want to put on our dog. What do we want our dog to really look like? So at this point, we have to determine eyes, and we have to determine whether we want that nose to be bigger. We have to determine whether or not the front of the face is hairy, or whether it's kind of smooth, or whether the backside is really furry. The tail we've already made just a little bit furry over here, okay? So in the end, we're gonna start laying some of those features out, and if we do them lightly, and we do them quickly, we can always erase and change them fairly fast. So we're gonna come up, and I'm gonna put the simplest of eyes on our dog. Actually, they aren't the simplest simplest because you could just have a little dot and a little dot, but a little oval like this for pupils is pretty simple. And if we go ahead and we make a little circle up in the corner, right now it looks like he's looking up in the air, but that's actually meant to be a little glint of light. So we're gonna take and we're gonna just lightly fill in the background, okay? All right, so now that's what our eyes will look like. They are big ovals. In some places, they kind of hang out over the edge of the ovals where we fill them in. You want to try and get all of your coloring inside of the outside boundary line of the pupil. Okay, so there's our dog's eyes. Now we're going to tackle the nose a little bit because we've got to color that in as well. So we come out to the nose and we say, is this big enough? I kind of like to see just a tiny bit bigger nose out here. I think it would make it look more cartoony. Okay, so I'm going to take and make that circle just a little bit bigger. I'm going to erase inside the nose where the other circle was, or the other oval. Okay, and now that I've got that there, I'm going to draw, just like the little glints of light up there, I'm going to draw a little curve and a little curve like this and make a glint of light on the nose. Now, the reason we do glints of light on anything is because usually... If something is wet, like your eyeball generally is, or a dog's nose generally is, it glistens a little bit. It reflects some light. Many things reflect light, and dogs' noses and eyes in general do that. So we leave just a little bit of a curve, kind of like a, like a little worm, like that, and then we fill all the rest of the space in all around that. Now, 
I usually like my dogs to have a little personality up on the top of their head, a little tuft of hair or something like that. So we can draw one and two little curved triangles kind of going in the opposite direction as the ears. Okay. And then we can bring the eyes out and down, or the side of the head out and down around the eyes. And I'm going to make just a little bump up over top of the eye here. A little bump up over top of the eye here. And then I have to erase where that line came through before and touched our side of our pupil, our eye. So now our dog's starting to have some real personality, and that's kind of fun. I'm going to come up and draw the tip of this ear and curve back and make that a little bit thicker. And I'm going to come up and draw the tip of this ear and curve back. And inside here, I'm going to draw another little curved triangle tip like that. And that's going to be the inside of this dog's ear. All right. And then inside, I'm going to draw some little hairs that kind of are tops of triangles as well. I use the word triangle tops quite a bit. That usually means like a little triangular angle like this that doesn't have a bottom on it or a top, depending on which direction it's going. And I'll say that for other kinds of shapes as well as we work on different things. So now we've got our dog's basic look for his face. Let's come across and add just a little bit of a curve to his snout. Okay. And again, Whenever you write or draw something new over top of what you've already written or drawn on, you want to erase a little bit to make sure that it's nice and crisp and clean. Now we can make our dog super happy. We can make our dog a little bit sort of like he's just standing there and generic, just sort of a dog standing. We can make him angry. We can make him a number of things. I think it would be fun to curve his mouth down just a little bit below this rectangle. We don't have to follow that exact shape for the rectangle. All right, curve it under, and curve it back up into his face for a little bit of a smile, okay? And we can make a little bump for the cheek of a smile there. Now, his face doesn't come all the way out to the edge of our rectangle, so we erase that. That's gone. Those shapes are almost all gone here. Look at this. The circle underneath, it's not there anymore that was there. The rectangle has been bowed up here and curved inside here. It's mostly gone. And everything that we drew there seems to be gone, but that's okay. It was only there to help us get the space for drawing to start with. Now, underneath, I'm going to give this dog a real simple little front lip like that, or uh, under lip. Okay? And then on the back, we have to decide, is this furry? Is this a, sort of a clean cheek back here? Over here, we see the tail, and it's got some little bits of uh, fur sticking out. So let's do that on the side of the face, too. So we're going to come out and curve down and back. And come out and curve down and back. And come out and curve down and back. And you'll notice in here where I drew that it's a little bit sketchy because I was kind of figuring out what angle I wanted and so on. Once you're done with that, go ahead and clean those lines up and then get rid of the original underlying shape, that little triangle that we had. All right, now our dog's really starting to take shape. So let's sneak down underneath his chin and let's do the same thing for his body. His body is probably going to be a little furry if the tail and the side of the face were furry. So let's give him a chest or her. I don't know if this is a boy or a girl dog. Let's give it a chest that curves down with little triangle tops. So it's curve out and out and out and back, out and back and down to the leg. And again, we erase that little underlying shape that was in there until it's totally gone. On the back of the dog, a dog's back is not straight like this perfectly. Usually there's a little bit of a downward motion for where the shoulder is. And then it kind of curves back and goes up and around where the rear end is. So we can do the dog's shoulder, curve it up into the dog's rear end. And then we erase. It seems like a lot of erasing, 
but many times it's a lot easier to draw a character by getting the basic proportions down and then building on top of it and erasing than it is to try and get it 100% right the first time and find out you've made a mistake after you've added all the details that you wanted. We're going to go up the back of the tail and make that a little bit darker. Try and follow the line that you drew up there, that nice curved line. We're going to curve back down around here. Boop. Boop. Follow those and just go up to give it a little bit more thickness. The thickness makes it look more permanent, like this is where we meant it to be. We could have changed the tail. We could have made it a nice thin tail that comes all the way down, sort of like on a Doberman or a, a Great Dane or something like that. All right, and now the back end of the dog, we've got to kind of smooth the back end of the rear end around just a little bit, okay? So it's not a straight down line. Boom. And then it comes down into the back end of the sort of elbow of the dog and down into the back foot. So we're going to erase here and erase here now because that rectangle no longer fits the bill because we curved outward just a little bit for the rear end here and inward just a little bit for the inside of the leg coming in. And then it kind of goes out to, I don't know if that's technically the elbow or the wrist or whatever it is uh, in comparison to a human skeleton, but it bumps out in the back. And the same thing down here, we're going to make the ankle a little bit thicker, bring it up and outward, and back into the body, just a little bit like that, okay? So our cartoon dog is starting to take some shape, and that's kind of fun. Underneath the body, we're going to extend those little triangles all the way down and back through the whole length of the body. All right, and then we're going to bring the other leg out just a little bit in the back and down and do the same thing. Bring the ankle up and curve it outward. We erase little bits and pieces around there. So we went outward, down, and then curve back up like this. On the front, that elbow is up a little higher here. It comes down and straight into the ankle. And the front of the ankle curves up and goes kind of right into the front of the chest. So that's our front paw. Of our dog. On the other side we're going to do the same thing except for all we see is the curve down to the ankle and on the far side we bring down the front of the leg into the paw. Now we just have to finish off the paws and then we'll be done with our very first daily draw. Let's kick this heel back and keep it simple. Let's keep that same look, even though we can modify what a paw looks like. For this one, let's keep a same very cartoony sort of half circle here. Okay? And we're going to make one, two toes in there. And I'm going to curve those toes outward just a little bit as they come around. So it's still that half circle, but it looks like there's little toes in the end of that. Same thing over here. We're going to come out and keep that half circle. We put the line just a little bit past where the leg is to show that the foot is kind of curving around in front of it. And then we bring out the bottom of the foot and add our toes on the far side. Sometimes that toe gets a little bit low or something's out of whack, it's okay to erase. I just erase this toe here and kind of curve that line back. So we've got a half circle and we've got two little lines for toes, and then we curve into those little lines around the bottom of the half circle for our foot. Now, we just have to finish the front feet, and we've got a really cool-looking cartoon dog. Let's sneak down here. Boom. Do the same thing we did before, cutting across the front of the foreleg. There's our half circle. Curve down and up. Over and up. And we've got the front paw. And you can add things like claws, or if your dog wears some kind of socks or padding or something like that, you don't have to put the toe, toes in there. But the idea is that a simple, simple half circle suffices for drawing our paws. And you can make it look just like a dog, even if it's a simple dog.
Okay, so now we've got a dog that is pretty well developed. You can see this dog in lots of different cartoons. If you want to add just a little bit of reality to the background, you can add some little curves down on the ground. Okay, you can add some shadows to this character or some spots or any kind of body um, markings or things like that. Maybe the front of the chest has like a little whiteness here and same thing down here underneath the stomach. So we draw a little line where it's white down here and it's maybe a little bit darker up in this area. At this point, you can go ahead and personalize this dog any way you want to. If you want to take a little chunk out of the ear, like maybe it's been in a fight or something along that line, or if you want your dog to have a collar, go ahead and add a collar. It's very simple, just a couple of curved lines across and cut them off on the sides. You can do just about anything with this dog. Now, during this time when we're all stuck inside, it's always fun to share our drawings with other people. So if you send me a scan of your drawing, if you're able to make a scan of it or take a picture of it, and you send that to me, I'll be happy to put that up on my Facebook Draw Club site. So this is the end of our very, very first daily draw. Don't forget to come down to the bottom and sign it with your name. My initials are W-A-G, which kind of fits with the dog theme here. So I make a little W-A-G, and then I put the little G and turn it into a tail that comes down through my A over here, like that. And I add a little bit of flair to the W and to the G and to the top of the A. And now I've got this little tail. I add a couple little wags on the side of it, and there's my signature. And a lot of times, I'll add the year as well, just so I remember, because if you draw a lot, Eventually, you're not going to remember when you drew certain things. So that's it for our very first daily draw. I want to thank Groder Studios for making this awesome set here and allowing me to draw at it. And I would like to invite you to follow my page here. If you wouldn't mind subscribing down here and liking the page. And honestly, even more than that, sharing it with people you know. There's lots of people indoors right now without a lot to do, and drawing a little bit is very fun and creative and is a good way to have a good time even when you're stuck inside. So if you would share this to people that you know who might want to draw, uh, I would love to be drawing with them as well. And we'll see you tomorrow with another dog and another dog over the next week here. Thanks for coming. Look forward to seeing you in the future.